good morning from the old Medina of Tunis. It's a beautiful sunny day today. And so I decided to visit this city called the Benzers or Bizerte in English. And it is a very important city because it used to be a military base for the French during colonization. And it was also the last territory to gain independence in Tunisia. It's supposed to have this beautiful, nice old port that I'm really excited to see and show you. But what I'm most excited about is a point that's further north of Benzert, and it is the northern most point in continental Africa. I have no idea how I'm getting there from Benzers, but we will figure that out. And I'm really excited to bring you with on this adventure. I love, 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 love the old Medina in Tunis. It's one of uh, the very few Medinas where you really get that raw experience. You're not really hustled by a lot of vendors. You can walk peacefully and it's very authentic, especially for me when I compare it to many Medinas in, in Morocco, like Marrakesh, it can get really hectic, but the blue, and yellow doors are just so incredible to see. Uh, right behind me is uh, Bab Sa'dun, and not too far from here, there's supposed to be a luage station. And luages here in Tunis are public mode of transportation, where you basically get into a van, you pay for one seat, and you wait until the van is filled with other travelers going to the same destination. So from here, Tunis to Bizerte, it's about one hour. They are pretty efficient, they are affordable, so it's going to be less than 10 dinars. I'm going to leave the exact price out here. And they're pretty fast too. So I'm gonna go and find my station. It's so busy out here because it's a Monday, but also there are a lot of administrations and a lot of hospitals around this area. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Just arrived to Benzers, and this is the old port behind me. Got off the station, the Luash station, walked a little bit and then took a taxi. It was like two dinars. As I started walking here, I can smell the fresh seafood and the taxi driver just told me that there's actually a market right there where you can buy seafood and then you can walk right there and then ask them to grill it for you. This is like my favorite way to, to eat seafood. So I'm gonna do that and uh, see if it's really good. Hi. <laughs> There's an after party going on. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that meal was fantastic. I'm even taking some leftovers home. I have a feeling by the time I get back to Tunis, it's gonna become seafood puree, but it was so, so, so good. And I'm still here at the port, at the old port. I'm gonna walk around just to see what it looks like from the other side. Now, regarding the northernmost point in uh, continental Africa, when I was talking to the Luas driver and the taxi driver, everyone's telling me it's not a good idea to go by myself because it's the off season, there aren't a lot of people up there. And even if I take some public transportation to get there, I will still have to walk. And they told me that it's not the best idea. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to find uh, a taxi driver, try to negotiate a price and see if he can take me all the way there, maybe spend a couple of minutes there and then bring me back. So fingers crossed. Oh my gosh, they have a beautiful Medina here in Benzert. Everything is blue and it reminds me a lot of uh, the old Medina of Shifshawen in Morocco. Although even in Tunis, they use a lot of blue. But here, ah, oh, it's very different. And I love the art on the walls and they even have some pots right there. So beautiful and peaceful. Thank you. 
The one thing that I've been really enjoying about Tunisia is the culture of uh, tea rooms, les salons de thé. So they have tea rooms all around the place. I mean, coffee shops and tea rooms, but more tea rooms. But <laughs> especially in uh, the old Medina, many of the tea rooms are frequented by young Tunisians. And it just brings like a beautiful vibe to the old Medinas because I'm not used to, like back in Morocco, for example, the old Medinas, you know, just like old, very traditional, not a lot of young people going there, but that wasn't the case. And so even right here, when I go to the old Medina, the first thing I find, a beautiful tea room where you can order some tea, mint tea. But the difference is that in their mint tea, they like to add some nuts. So usually almonds or pine nuts. So I've been ordering almond a lot, but then today I'm trying with the pine nuts and it adds an incredible flavor. I really never imagined that you just throw some nuts in there and it's gonna really change the flavor, uh, but it's so, so very good. I found a taxi driver who was kind enough to, you know, just do this with me. And we parked the taxi all the way there because there are a lot of puddles of water and we don't want the, to get stuck in there. So we're going to walk a little bit. And it's funny because it just started raining. So just the two of us out here, we're gonna make it happen. We don't know exactly what it is, but we shall see. It's deserted out here. There's not a single person. <laughs> Nobody here. The sun is all the way there. And uh, you can see there's a lighthouse. Woohoo! Right there. This is the northernmost point in continental Africa from Tunisia, woo! -hoo!